Tensions reached a boiling point on Tuesday's episode of The View when co-host Whoopi Goldberg abruptly ordered Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, to leave the studio audience. This shocking on-air confrontation has sent shockwaves through the media landscape. According to reports from audience members, Markle arrived unannounced and took a seat towards the back of the studio. What transpired next is a matter of conflicting narratives. Some claim Markle discreetly began recording the show on her phone, a move that allegedly violated the program's strict audience guidelines. Others suggest Markle was simply taking personal notes, a seemingly innocuous act. However, Whoopi Goldberg's forceful response a clear get-up-and-leave directed at Markle suggests something more significant was at play. Markle's supporters are quick to paint her as the victim, caught in the crossfire of a jealous talk show host, they point out the public humiliation she endured, forced to leave the studio in front of a live audience. This narrative reinforces a long-standing criticism of Markle, an inability to navigate public scrutiny with grace. However, a closer look reveals a more nuanced story. The View has a well-established tradition of strong personalities and lively debates. Goldberg, known for her no-nonsense approach, wouldn't have publicly confronted Markle without a significant reason. The alleged phone recording, if true, could be interpreted interpreted as a blatant disregard for the show's rules and a potential security breach. Furthermore, rumors have swirled about a growing unease with Markle's frequent appearances on talk shows. Critics argue that these visits are a calculated move to maintain her celebrity status often overshadowing the show's intended topics. This perspective suggests a clash between Markle's desire for control over her public image and the View's established format. It's important to acknowledge the inherent bias in both interpretations. Markle's supporters will undoubtedly portray her as the wrong party, while her detractors might relish the supposed commupants of a self-absorbed royal. The truth likely lies somewhere in between. Perhaps Markle, used to the carefully orchestrated world of royal protocol, underestimated the informality and spontaneity of the view. Maybe she genuinely believed taking notes on her phone wouldn't be an issue. On the other hand, Goldberg, fiercely protective of the show's format and audience experience, might have viewed Markle's actions as disrespectful and disruptive. This public spat highlights the challenges of navigating fame in the age of social media. The lines between calculated self-promotion and genuine public interaction are easily blurred. For Markle, this incident could be a PR nightmare for her solidifying the perception of her as someone who prioritizes attention over etiquette. For The View, it could be a case of upholding their standards in the face of potential celebrity entitlement. Ultimately, the on-air clash between Whoopi Goldberg and Meghan Markle exposes the complexities of maintaining a carefully curated public image. Whether it was a calculated move by Markle or a genuine misunderstanding, one thing remains clear. The once-beloved royal's attempt to control the narrative backfired spectacularly, leaving viewers captivated in the talk show world.